Hey everyone, what's going on? Jaden0165, aka Jaden. Welcome back to another episode of Random Thoughts. Today is going to be the second episode that I make today. Uh, today's episode, episode 13, because I just got done making uh, episode uh, 12, literally, not just, literally, not too long ago. So yeah, uh, yeah, I, I believe today is episode 13. I said it in my previous video that um I don't know, I was just feeling good. I was just feeling uh a lot better than I normally feel uh because I've been so depressed and I've been so stressed out and I've just been, you know, just dealing with like so much anxiety and and you know all that. So I decided, you know what? I feel like it today. It's one of those days. Let me make a second video today and why not? Let me bring up another awesome amazing and heartwarming anime quote that I can really resonate with. And today's quote says, don't ever give up, even if it's painful, even if it's agonizing, don't try to take the easy way out. When I look at this quote, there's one thing that comes to my mind, and that is Naruto Uzumaki. Naruto Uzumaki said something very similar to this. I think it was between, it was during the fourth grade ninja war, and Naruto was saying that something like this to Obito Uchiha, or as they call him in the community, uh, Jubito, because uh, Obito is the uh, Ten Tails uh, Jinjuriki, and Obito has that, uh, Obito is in that uh, form, in that uh, version mode, you know, as the Ten Tails Jinjuriki, you know. And uh, during that fight conversation, somewhere down in, somewhere in the middle, uh, Naruto says, a, says something very, very similar uh, to this, to Obito Uchiha. So that's the first thing that came to my mind. And this is indeed another quote that just really just resonates with me. And this is so true. And this is basically me, my calling, my purpose, and my saying, this is basically me every single day. But if you guys can't tell which anime this is from, this anime is from uh, Demon Slayer, another really good anime series. Some people say it's the GOAT. Some people do be saying that Demon Slayer is the GOAT, and I'm not going to lie, uh, Demon Slayer, I haven't watched Demon Slayer, but just by looking at it and watching a couple clips here and there, I can tell that it is good. It is good, okay? Um, They even say, some people say that Demon Slayer has the best graphics and the best animation than any other anime series out there, and, you know, I'm just like, I want to see what all the fuss is all about. I want to see what all the fuss is about. So I want to check out this anime for myself. So, yeah, um, you know, I haven't watched anime in a while now. Um, I think I'll, I'll I think I'll explain more about that, and I'll I'll talk about that. I'll touch base on that subject more in uh, the next video. Um, you know, part of me is like, a part of me is like telling myself, well, since you, you know, you feel so good today and, you know, you made an awesome video and you were expressing your thoughts and your emotions and your feelings in your previous video, you know, all that stuff, all that stuff, yada, 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 you know, you know what it is, you know, like you're making a second video today, you know, this is my conscience and this is a part of me that's telling me this. Part of me is like telling me like, you should make a third video. And I'm like, I don't know about a third video. You know, I don't know if I want to go that far. You know, I, I could make a third video if i wanted to i could make potentially make an episode 14 but no no the way i see it um i i think two videos is good enough for me today um you know i could make a third video if i wanted to but um uh, i'm just uh not going to you know i i don't, I don't know I, I don't know maybe i feel like it maybe here's the deal you guys here's the deal if i do make a third video today i do and if i don't i don't it's not that big of a deal, you guys. You know, this is not a race. You two making content is not a race. All right? You make as many content as you want to make. You know, just take it easy. Take it easy and don't stress yourself out too much. All right? So, uh, so yeah, for real, though, for real. Um, no, but, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I just, um, I don't know. I just decided to make two episodes today. Um, you know, uh, episode 13, I do, I want to say this is episode 13. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
you know, sometimes I forget you guys, but in all reality, you'll see this video up on my channel anyway, and then you'll see the episode number of this video, and you'll see this episode be a part of my random thoughts uh, playlist, which, by the way, you guys, if you already, if you already did not know that, uh, I set up a whole playlist on my YouTube channel where you can check all these random thoughts uh, episodes out all the way to one to this new upcoming one. So please check it out. Check it out. You know, don't be shy. Don't no no shame in that. No shame. No shame and uh we good. Hashtag we all good. Hashtag we all good. That's what's up. That's what's up. So yeah. But I, I really wanted to make a video and talk about this quote because this quote just really uh resonates within me. And guys, believe me, there have been multiple, multiple times and multiple occasions in my life where I'll all I wanted to do is take the easy way out because the the journey was so painful and the journey was so agonizing and I was just so like I don't know. I was just like, I was very, very, um, you know, I was just very stressed out. You know, I was just so, so stressed out that I just did not want to, I, I did not want to go on this journey anymore because it was just so hard and it was so rough. But now that I think about it, you know, I, in all reality, I actually do not. And, I, and believe me when I say this, I actually do not want to take the easy way out because just like Naruto Uzumaki and I bet this character, this main protagonist in Demon Slayer, neither of them want to take the easy way out. We want to take the hard way. And, you know, like, it's almost like we want to, um, we want to experience the struggles and the pain and the suffering because in all reality, in the end, at the end of the day, it's stuff like that, that shapes us. It shapes us and it transforms us to the person who we are now and the person who we are today, you know, and because of the pain for me specifically, because of the pain and because of the agonizing and because of all the stress and misery that I've been through so far on this long journey, the journey has been long. The journey has been long. But this is just the beginning because I'm still here. Why am I still here? Well, I'm still here because a good friend of mine made me make a promise to her. So I continue to fulfill that promise. And I continue not, I continue not to break that promise. So that's one right there. And two, it's because of the misery, the pain, the stress, the anxiety, the depression, the loneliness, all this, all this pain, all this that I've experienced till this point in time, it's all these factors that have made me and that have turned me and shaped me into a warrior. This is specifically the reason why I am a warrior and I've always been a warrior and I am still a warrior today. I've been a warrior this whole COVID experience, you know, because I choose to fight. And when I say that, I'm not talking about violence, you guys. I'm talking about I choose to fight like in the in the concept, in the concept and in the factor of never giving up. I choose to fight for honor, respect, courtesy, courtesy and for my peace. For my peace and and peace uh, around me, you know, I, I'm a very simple person. I'm a very simple, classic person to just talk to. You know, I believe in peace, quiet, and you know, me and my brothers and my sisters, we all treat each other with the same respect, the same honor, and just equal equality. You know, and a friend, a good friend, a good friend of mine uh, said something about that. Peace is a lie and equality is just not true. You know, I forget what the whole saying was that he told me, but it's it's funny that I should mention that because uh, sooner or later, I'm going to make a video talking about that. Okay. Excuse me. Sorry about that. I'm going to make a video uh, talking about that very soon. So uh, stay tuned. Stay tuned. You know, do I believe in equality? Yes and no. I believe in equality among my friends and among my comrades and my allies because, you know, we're friends and we're comrades and we're allies and we've always been that for the longest time and we want to treat each other not like crap and not like scum, but we want to treat each other as if we were part of the same clan, as part as as if we were part of the same tribe, and as as if we were part of the same clan family. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I do believe in that, and I, I don't know. I've always believed in peace and um and quiet because peace and quiet. There's no shame in that, and and 
you know, it doesn't hurt to have a little bit of peace and quiet in your life. You know, it's probably one of the reasons why I still listen to a lot of peaceful music till this day. I listen to a lot of hip hop and chill mix and, you know, sometimes sad mix. If I'm feeling very emotional, I need something to uh, resonate with and relate to very badly. And, and on that, and on that level of emotion and on that free and on that specific frequency, you know what I'm saying? And just like, um, it's real, you guys. The struggles are real. You know, I'm struggling. I have the hardships. I'm struggling even today. You know, I'm struggling even today. And it feels like everybody around me is like, oh, you could be doing better. And like, oh, it's all your fault. It's this fault, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, but there's only so much that I can do. And I wasn't taught this kind of stuff, you know? Like people expect me to, oh, like, just like, I see, see, you know, I know, I know where this is going. I, I'm. You guys have to understand that I, I've had a lot of problems. I've had a lot of ups and downs, and for the longest time, I've had a lot of problems. And you know, don't get me wrong. I love my family. I love my de family. I excuse me. I love my family to death. But it's just that I mean, just like everybody else, we have our ups and downs. We have our ups and downs, and. Uh, I'd rather not go into detail, I'd rather not go into detail, because it's just only going to get me more depressed and more sad. And I, I, I don't want it, it's just stupid, like drama and crap. I, I don't want to get into that. You know, I want to keep things very simple, very classy, very classic. And I want to keep things very positive. And I want to keep things in that warrior range radar. You know what I'm saying? So I'd rather do that instead. So yeah, but just like this quote says, don't ever give up. Even if it's painful, even if it's agonizing, don't try to take the easy way out. Let's, uh, let, let's, um, this is actually something I've never done before. And let's try something new here. Let's, uh, break it down. Let's break down this quote step by step by step. So, step one, don't ever give up. You know, let's break it down into phrases. Let's break down this whole message into different phrases. So, phase one, don't ever give up. Um, my, that, that's, don't ever give up has been a message I've learned from many people. I've learned it from my mom. I've learned it from a lot of my friends, my comrades, my allies, you know, and, um, you know, I, 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 I've learned it. I I've learned it. I've learned that message. Don't ever give up from a lot of my favorite genres and a lot of my favorite franchise, you know, from transformers to power Rangers, to Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Digimon, um, anime, even, you know, and that is a message that is constantly, constantly being spread throughout the universe and throughout the multiverse and it's just it's real it's real don't give up you guys i get it i've been there too i've i know what the struggles are like i know what the pain is like i know what the misery is like and i know that the the journey may seem impossible but you know at the same time just like you know you got to keep going you got to keep going no matter what no matter what you know no matter how many obstacles you must face no matter how many um you know, walls and blockades and barricades and, you know, uh, you know, barriers that you must have to go through or go, go around or whatever, like you got to keep going, you got to keep going, you are an unstoppable force. You are the unstoppable force that nobody's going to stop you, no one's going to bring you down. And you just got to keep going, you know, you just got to keep going with this life. And you just got to keep going. So please don't give up. Don't ever give up. That's what the first phase of this quote says. So don't get ever give up. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's very, you know, it's like I said, it's pretty self-explanatory. Don't ever give up ever. Phase two, even if it's painful. Listen, guys, like they always say, you know, uh, pain is an old friend and it's a, uh, it's raining now. So, um, I actually, um, I was actually pausing there for a second because I noticed it's raining outside. So yeah. Anyway, anyway, moving on, um, even if it's painful. So I get it, guys. You know, it's like they it's like I always say to myself and a lot of people always say this as well. Pain's an old friend. And that is so flipping true. You guys, that is so flipping true. Pain is an old friend. Um, so don't ever give up, even if it's painful. It's true. It's true, you guys, you know, like I'm still in pain. I'm still feeling the pain in uh, my heart, my soul. And it, it, it really sucks. It, it really sucks that, you know, the reasons why I'm in so much pain, just the the reasons because of that, like, it's just, again, I'd rather not go into it, you know, and it's just like, 
you know, it's just, uh, you know, a bunch of stuff. And it's just like, I, I don't know, it's just, you know, it's hard. It's hard. Life is hard. It's struggling. It's painful. It's very, it's very um, agonizing, you know, it's just, it's, uh, it's painful. It's painful. So, so basically the encouragement that I want to share with you guys is don't ever give up, even if it's painful, because I've been there, you've been there. And a lot of us, a lot of us in this community and a lot of us in this lifetime have definitely been there. And, and, you know, we know what it's like, you know, we know what it's like. And um, I wanted to make this video and I wanted to put this quote in the background and then express my emotions and my thought process. And I wanted to explain and, and vent to you guys, you know, I wanted to vent and plead to you guys that don't ever give up, even if it's painful, you know, so just, you know, um, you know, a lot of a lot of inspiration will always say use that pain to your advantage, you know, if it hurts so much, use that to your advantage, use that to fuel your, um, your um, power, your fire in you, the fire in your heart, the fire in your soul, your will of fire, use that pain to fuel your emotions, your thoughts, and just use that pain to your advantage. Use that pain as inspiration, as motivation. And a lot of people will be like, well, what the heck are you talking about? You make it no sense. And well, you know, if it hurts so much, if you feel so much pain, and if it hurts so much, use that pain to your advantage, use that pain to do something, do something about it, you know, go for a walk, go for a run, watch some anime, draw some anime, you know, draw this, draw that, you know, draw some nature, draw some planets, draw some space, stars, whatever, you know, you know, um, you know, just, just try to find something that you can escape yourself into. Just try to find that escape reality you can escape into and just, you know, do something about it. You know, I'm not being like all strict and everything. I'm not like, Oh, you got to do this or this is going to happen. No, I'm not. I'm, that's not me. I'm not that type of person. I am a warrior. I fight with honor and respect. That's just how it is. That's just me. That's just in my DNA, you know, but if it hurts so much, if it hurts so much, use that pain to your advantage, use that pain to your advantage, use that pain to fuel the, you know, to fuel, you know, just, I'm trying to find the right words and I'm trying to like figure out the the right uh the right phrase to to use it but I think a majority of you guys I think a majority of you guys are going to understand and know what I'm talking about here you know um uh so yeah but just use that pain use that pain to your advantage and use that pain to fuel your emotion to fuel your uh, intentions your in, your inspiration your your passion your motives your purpose your calling your just your dreams and your destiny, you know, just for, for me, I, I would say me using me as an example, I use the pain to give myself that strength, that wisdom, that philosophy, that courage, the bravery, it just, I use the pain to give me the strength so that I can make videos like this and why I'm still here regardless today. So again, you guys don't ever give up. Don't ever give up. Even if it's painful, you know, use that pain to your advantage. Use that pain to fuel your fury of light heart and, and, and just use that pain, use it as strength and use it as confidence and use that pain to fuel the fire in your heart so that you never stop and that you keep, and that you keep pursuing forward and you keep forging on ahead and you keep moving forward no matter what. On to phase three, even if it's agonizing. Um, now I'm really not sure um what the term mean, what the what that term means, agonizing, but I think I have a good feeling of what it means. Um uh, again, you guys, you also have to understand I'm not going with my words, so please bear with me here. Uh even if it's agonizing, you know, just even if even if the the pain is so much, like if I had to say what agonizing means, even if the pain is so much that you feel like your heart's going to explode or you feel like you're going to pass out or feel or you feel like you're just going to drop dead to the floor, you know, believe me, I've had many panic, panic attacks in my life. I know what it's like all too well. Um, there have been times where I thought my heart was beating so fast that my heart was literally about to explode. You know, and um, it's not a good feeling, you guys. It's really not a good feeling. And it took me, it took me a while to, to like, um, find myself the best coping mechanism. And I would listen to music, I would watch anime, I would, you know, I would just, you know, um, 
again, it's all about that escape into reality. You know, we need to find that escape. You know, we need to find that dumb dimension, that realm we can escape into. And just, you know, we, we need to do that. You know, we need to do that regardless, you know, because we need this escape because sometimes life can be too much for us. It could be too much and the pain and the overwhelmingness and the agonizing pain can can be too well, could, could be too much. It could definitely be too much. So I would definitely say to that or what I would say to that my encouragement would be to just um take it easy and find something you could be your you could be occupied with and just find that escape you guys you know find that escape and just um you know just find that escape find that dimension you can escape it to and just you know spend some time you know spend some time and uh, just take it easy you know take it easy don't stress yourself out and just try to find my encouragement would also be try to find that best um, coping mechanism, whether that's watching anime, drawing anime, drawing, writing, listening to music, exercising, like whatever your best coping mechanism is, just do it. Just do it because in the long run, it will help you. And if and if making content, if making content makes you happy, and if making content makes you feel better, then by all means, make some content, you know, make some YouTube videos, you know, play some video games. I mean, you know, watch some anime, you know, talk Talk about anime on your YouTube channel, like whatever, you know, uh, put some positive vibes on your Instagram, put some positive vibes on social media, make try to make the world a better place, you know, put some positivity out there, you know, why not just why not, you know, um, so don't, so don't ever give up, even if it's painful, even if it's agonizing, like basically, to take those three phases and to put them all together. The journey's going to be hard, the journey's going to be rough. It's going to be very hard, you know, you're going to feel so much pain, so much agonizing and just like, it's going to be hard, it's going to be rough, but you don't stop no matter what failure and just quitting, calling it quits is not an option here, people. So keep that in mind, a warrior keeps moving on, no matter what, no matter how much pain and no matter how much agonizing and no matter how much, no matter how much anxiety or stress that warrior must have to go through, a warrior still moves on and a warrior still continues to push forward to the front lines no matter what and that's just um you know that's just uh that's just what it's all about right there you guys so uh so yeah for sure um so yeah and then this last and then this last phrase right here speaking just like naruto uzumaki because i love naruto i love the character i love the show naruto is one of my favorite animes of all time just putting that out there that's just for the that's a given right there for me and that's just for the record so yeah so the last phase of this quote, don't try to take the easy way out. Um, you know, I really can't explain in detail what the easy way out, what the easy way out is. But, um, you know, let's t talk about taking the hard way out, you know, um, you know, t going, going and taking the hard way out. Um, basically, you know, you're trying to exercise, you're trying to lose weight, maybe you're starting it, maybe you're on the verge of starting a weight loss journey, you know, it's going to be hard, it's going to be hard. And is there really a way easy way out? Um, honestly, for a weight loss journey, I would not say so. But, you know, if you wish to work out, and if you wish to lose all this weight, and you want to get better, and you want to get all buffed up and all like super sane like and everything like that, then it's a grind. It's a grind. It's going to be hard. It's going to be rough, but you just got to do it. You know, you got to do it. You got to stay patient. You got to be positive and you just got to be like a flipping freaking warrior here. And this is what we live for, you know? And, um, you know, uh, there's this one quote, there's this not, not a quote. There's this one song that I definitely like to listen to all the time. Um, and as it goes something like, because this is what we live for. I never quit. No, no, this is how I, this is what we live for. And it's, um, I'll talk about it more in detail later on in a future video of mine for sure. Um, but you guys get what I'm saying. You guys get the gist of it. You guys get the point. Just don't take the easy way out. Take the hard, take the, the hard path and just keep going guys keep going like i know the journey is going to be hard i know the journey is going to be full of many of lots of pain a lot of agonizing pain and i know there are going to be times where you wish that you've given up a long and a long time ago and i i i i get that i get that and i feel you on that i i feel you on that a uh, level of respect and courtesy and honor and just courage and bravery and it's it's stuff like these it's stuff like this that shapes us into the warrior that we are and that we were born today, 
You know, I was reborn. I was born into a warrior. I was made a warrior. And this is my calling. This is my purpose. And nothing's going to change me. Nothing is going to change me for the record and for the long run. Th this is just who I am. This is who I am. I've got that fire in my eyes. I've got that fire in my heart. Nothing's going to extinguish that fire. That fire is just going to grow bigger and bigger and hotter and hotter and larger and larger. And that fire is not going to go anywhere. And soon that, and sooner or later, that fire is going to transform into lava fire, meaning it's going to be indestructible and it's going to be 10 times powered up, 10 times more power, a hundred times more power and a million times more power. And the point is, is that what doesn't kill me just makes me stronger. And the same thing could be said for you, me, all of us, your brothers, your sisters, your friends, your family, everybody. What doesn't kill us only makes us stronger. You know, and I get it. Life is hard. You know, COVID has been very hard. You know, we've lost uh, a lot of good people, a lot of, you know, friends, family, you know, um, you know, and, you know, I'm not saying that, oh, you know, COVID, you know, COVID got to go because so many people have, have been hurting and have lost so many loved ones. Well, yes, that is true. But, you know, just I, I get it. It's hard and it's rough. And I cannot say that I've lost people because of this COVID like, I, I'm glad till this day that all my uh, people and that all my friends and all my comrades and allies that I still talk to this till this day, they're, you know, doing great. They're doing awesome. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm really glad that, uh, you know, they're still here. They're still here. And I and it's an honor and it's a privilege to get to talk to them every once a day, every twice a day, every like week or month, whenever, you know, but just uh, but uh, but yeah, for sure, you know, Um hang on guys one second oh. sorry about that you guys sorry about that my apologies and excuse me for that you guys but basically the bottom line is don't ever give up even if it's painful even if it's agonizing don't try to take the easy way out spoken like a true warrior spoken like a true person a true friend a true comrade a true ally and this is something that i can see a true brother and a true sister of mine would tell me this just in my face and just like they would definitely tell me this for sure and i hope this quote helps you guys helps you out today um today is friday so i hope you guys have an awesome friday day today <laughs> i can't even speak right i'm sorry <laughs> sorry about that i hope you guys have an awesome friday today Stay safe, stay awesome, and um, just be a warrior. Be a freaking warrior. Don't ever give up, even if it's painful, even if it's agonizing. Don't try to take the easy way out, and that is so, so true right here. Shout out and all credits goes to the artist and the person making this quote and making this badass, really cool wallpaper. Shout outs to the creator and all credits and all respect goes to the creator who made the quote, wallpaper, all that awesomeness. So yeah, thumbs up to that. Hashtag we all good and hashtag that is flipping awesome. Aw yeah. So yeah. Um, but yeah, but this quote is so true. It's, it, it, you know, it means a lot. And then just like this quote is definitely another quote that really resonates with in my heart and in my soul. And just like, yeah, don't ever give up. I'm never going to give up because I'm a warrior and, and a true warrior never gives up. That's number one. Even if it's painful, I know pain all too well. Pain's an old friend. So I choose to take that pain and use it as insp inspiration, use it as motivation. And I use that as you know, as a, I use that as a means to push me forward to make it to the big leagues. So that's what's up. That's my philosophy right there. Even if it's agonizing, sometimes the pain can be so agonizing and so hurtful that I feel like my heart's going to explode and I feel like I'm going to pass out and I feel like just the whole world's going to end for me. And I, that's when I need the best coping mechanism. I need to listen to music. I need to go for a run. I need to vent to someone. I need to vent to my good friends, my brothers, my sisters, my comrades, my allies, you know. So um, just my, my best uh, encouragement is just find the best coping mechanism, find the best coping mechanism and just find that, find that it's, 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 it's times like those, it's times like these where you got to find that motivation. You got to find that inspiration to just lift you up.
lift you up. Don't stop. Don't quit. Never give up. And just find that true, uh, you know, inspiration to just lift you up no matter what. And just, you know, you, you got to keep going, you know, you just got to keep going and, and, and that, you know, that's what's up. That's what's up. You know, you just got to keep going. Don't stop. Don't quit. Never give up. And, um, you know, just take that motivation, take that inspiration. You know, it's, it's, it's like these, it's like these batteries, you know, one battery is motivation and the other battery is inspiration. Take these batteries, put them in your backpack and use that power, use that energy to push yourself forward and use that power, use that motivation to fuel the fire in your heart and use that to awaken your power and you become a ninja, you become a super saiyan and you just, this is how you do it. Just don't quit. Don't quit and and just, you know, find that motivation and find that inspiration and just find that, find that calling of yours, find that calling, find that purpose and use that as power, use that as power, use that as power to um, push yourself forward and, um, and just don't stop, don't look back, don't stop, keep making it to the big leagues, keep making it to the top of the pyramid, the top of the mountain, you can do this, keep moving forward. That's my encouragement. That's the best inspiration, motivation I could give to you guys. You guys have to understand I'm not that smart and I'm not a genius and I'm not a professional when it comes to this stuff, but um, I know the basic stuff. I know the basic stuff and and I've been there too, believe me. I've been there in pain. I've been there in agonizing pain. I know what it's like. So use that motivation, use that inspiration, use pain as a motivator to keep you pushing forward and keep that and keep using that motivation as a means of fighting for what you believe in. You stand for what you believe in. You fight for what you believe in. And you continue being a warrior no matter what. And last but not least, don't try to take the easy way out. Because in reality, <laughs> when you really think about it, in all reality, there is no easy way out. As much as I would love to say this, as much as you would love to say this, as much as your mentors and the teachers and and all of our ancestors and all of our and all of the people that 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 came before us, you know, before we were even born, you know, like just um, really in all reality, there is no easy way out. There is only the hard way, the hard hard way out. And you have two options. You can take the hard way out or you just don't take it at all. You could just give up and, and you know, sit around and just do nothing. So for me, I decide to take the hard way out. I continue to fight every single day. I'm a warrior with respect, courtesy, honor, just, you know, kind energy, caring energy, respectful energy, positive energy, good vibes, chill vibes, you know, respect and honor. And I decided to take all those factors, put them in my heart, in my soul, and I continue to be a flipping warrior every single day. And I choose to fight for my calling, my purpose, my intentions, and just my fate and my destiny because I have the power to shape my own destiny. And not just me, you guys have the power to shape your own destiny as well. It all comes down to choice. You choose. You choose whether you want to accept that destiny or whether you want to change that destiny and you want to shape your own destiny and you want to follow your dreams, you want to follow your passions, you are a flipping warrior, you don't stop, you don't quit, you never give up, and you continue to take all the negativity, all the stress, all the misery, all the pain, all the suffering, and all that agonizing pain that you feel like one day, you feel like all that agonizing pain is going to destroy you. But in reality, you're telling something to that agonizing pain of yours. You're telling something that, no, I'm going to use this agonizing pain to my advantage. And I'm going to take it. I'm going to take that agonizing pain, transform it into these batteries of motivation and inspiration, put them in my backpack and use that power, use that power to transform me into a flipping warrior. And I'm made of fire. I'm made out of fire. I'm made out of lightning. I'm made out of water. I have the spirits and the elements of all five chakra natures. You know, and I'm a flipping warrior and nothing is ever going to stop me. Nothing's going to stand in my way. And I'm going to keep pushing forward because that is my nindo, my ninja way. And that is what the philosophy is all about, ladies and gentlemen. Don't ever give up, even if 
excuse me, sorry. Don't ever give up, even if it's painful, even if it's agonizing. Don't try to take the easy way out. Spoken like a true warrior and spoken like a true warrior philosophy right there, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, before I head out, um, I have one request. I have, uh, excuse me, before I head out here, I do have one request, uh, and here's what I want you guys to do. I do have one request. My request is you go in the comment section below. So go to the comment section below and let me know. Let me know your philosophy and let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your philosophy and let me know what you think about this quote. And share those thoughts, share those philosophies, and share what you truly believe in the comment section below. Because I'm curious. I'm curious, and I want to find out if you guys are warriors too. And you guys have been through the pain, through the agonizing pain. And maybe a lot of you guys have taken that agonizing pain and use that to your own advantage. And use that as motivation and as inspiration. And you keep moving forward like a train that's on full speed ahead. And there's there's no end. There's no finish line. The journey is ongoing. You keep going because you are a warrior. And that's how you were built. That's how you were born. And this is what you live for. So let me know. Let me know in the comment section below. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? And what are your philosophy thoughts when it comes to this quote right here and right now? So let me know. Let me know in the comment section below. With that being said, you guys, that's going to be a wrap up for this video, you guys. Wow. You know, it's crazy, though. Before I head out, I just want to say this real quick. Something's on my mind right now. I want to I want to just uh, I just want to say that. um. Sometimes I sometimes I, I, I do get that anxiety. I do get anxiety thinking like, well, whenever I bring up a quote like this and I talk about it in a video of mine, I don't know. I'm, I'm just not sure. I'm just not sure what I'm going to talk about. I'm just not sure how that quote applies to me. But uh, deep down, deep down, when a quote like this, when a quote, when a, excuse me, when a quote, when a quote like this comes to my attention, Deep down, I always know what to say because I look down in my heart and I always think about, I always think for a second here, I always think about in a second here, I always think, well, how does this quote relate to me? How, why can I relate? Why can I re resonate with this quote so much on that high frequency level? And therefore, I know what to say. And therefore, I just, I just let my heart do the talking. That's really what it comes down to it, you guys. I just let my heart do the talking, and I just go with the flow, and I say my wisdom, I say my words, I say my philosophy, and I just go with the flow. That's really it, people. That's really it. And it really is that simple, really. So uh, I don't know. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I just wanted to share that. And guys, click the like button if you guys want to see more quotes like this in my videos. And I would happy, I will be happy to share more quotes like these and explain my thought, my thought process, and how that uh, pertains to me and just like, you know, I'll let my heart do the talking and I'll just be like, how does this quote, uh, how can I resonate and how can I relate to this quote right here? You know, I'll definitely do more of that. So click the like button if you guys want to see more awesome videos like these with the quotes, because I truly believe that it's these quotes like here, these quotes, these quotes right here are very inspiring, very motivating. And I definitely believe that they can bring us out of a dark place because we can just resonate with that. We can relate to that and just, yeah. It's a uh, powerful, it's powerful stuff. It really is, you know, shout out to demon slayer and uh shout out to uh, all the awesome people that are trying to make a positive difference and just shout out to all the warriors out there. Believe it, believe it. So yeah. Um, so yeah, you guys, with that being said, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, subscribe for more content. You guys, don't forget to click the notification bell to so that you guys will be notified when a new video comes up on the channel today. I decided I'm not going to make a third video today. I feel like this is a good stopping point for me today. I made two good I made two videos today. I'm going to upload two videos today on my YouTube channel. That's more than enough. That's more than good enough for me. Uh so yeah. Uh so yeah, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content, you guys. Click the notification bell to, uh, so you guys will be notified when a new video is up on my channel. Click the like button to show your support and show all the good vibes. I can really use the support. I would really appreciate that. Keep up the awesome vibes. Keep up the awesome support. Hashtag we all good and hashtag let's get it. Stay safe. 
stay awesome. Hope you guys have an awesome, fantastic, and stupendous Friday today. Stay safe. Stay positive. Stay strong. May the power protect you all. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Random Thoughts. Peace out.